Hey there YouTube, how's it going? I'm just finally getting around to getting an update video on my uh, Tom Daniels group build. I'm uh, doing the Stinger, it's a rear engine dragster. Um, I got started on this thing about the middle of November and uh, there was a lot of cleanup I had to do on um, all the tubing um, for the chassis. Um, the body had um, there's a lot of mold lines in the body. There was sink marks. Um, there was injector pin marks actually um, on the top part of the body um, on the outside, which I uh, don't understand why there'd be injector pin marks on the outside, but there was. Um, so it was a mess. So I had a lot of cleanup to do on it. Um, I should have did a. Uh, uh, an unboxing video because like I said I've never seen the kit before other than just you know uh, you know when it was still sealed uh, but when I thought of it it was already too late I already had half of it cleaned up but um, anyhow I once I got everything primed and I uh, got the uh, the chassis assembly uh, put together uh, got everything painted um, I got the uh, the rear end, the headers, um, this interior surround, and the chassis. I got them painted, um, and I use um, Duplicolor Primer Sealer, and I use um, Krylon Satin Black. Well, the the headers and rear end they turned it out turned out just fine. Um, but the now the the interior it does have a textured um, appearance. Um, to it, uh, but the the chassis itself, you know, everything's you know smooth, but the chassis and the interior surround had like this wrinkled um, effect to it, and I don't know what the hell happened. I mean, because I've used the same can of paint and the same can of primer together before, and never had any problems. Uh, but um, either way. Um, I wasn't happy with it. Um, they look like shit, so I decided just to um, throw them in a purple pond and uh, you know start from scratch. And so uh, basically, that's where I was until um, the uh, weekend before Christmas when uh, I was doing the uh, forty-eight hour build. Uh, I was doing a fifty-five Ford. Uh, panel truck that's uh, you can see behind it there. Um, I got to working on this again when I was in between, you know, waiting for uh, some primer to dry or paint blue, whatever. Um, but I decided to um, use up. Um, I got I don't know how many like quarter cans of uh, spray paint lying around, and um, I wanted to um, kind of go with what the uh, um, the box art was, uh, it was, it's orange on the, uh, on the box, uh, but I had, uh, the, uh, one of the, uh, testers one coat lacquer, uh, the flaming orange, um, just, uh, about a quarter can of it left, and that's what I used on the body, and uh, I got the engine painted the same color. Um, so that's basically it, I mean, there's not a whole lot to the kit, um, I do have the uh, the seat yet, uh, where with the driver is molded um, to the seat. Um, I have that uh, primed, and I got I got to paint that yet. But uh, other than that, I mean, uh, pretty much everything else is uh, is just chrome pieces, and uh, get this thing together here and uh, get it finished up here within the hopefully uh, by the end of the weekend. And uh, the same with the uh, 55 Ford panel truck. Um, I end up, um, I misplaced the um, uh, the panel that goes um, in in front of the uh, the core support. Um, well, I guess it could be the core support itself, but um, now this this panel here, um, I got to do. Do a little bit more to it yet, and uh, it'll be ready to paint. Um, I already had one already uh, painted and everything, but I don't know what happened to it. Um, my hobby room kind of doubled as a um, 
gift wrapping workstation. Um, so there was um, all kinds of Christmas presents up here and wrapping paper, and uh, it was just a mess. Uh, so who knows what happened to it? It um, it could have got scooped up and um, thrown in the garbage. Uh, I have no idea, but I fortunately I did have another one lying around. So get that finished up, and that way I can get the uh, that Ford finished up also, and I can get started on uh, something else. So. Uh, but that's all I got for now, guys. Um, so until next time, talk to you later.